In this video, I will show you how to use R to conduct a dependent samples t-test. The research question is, do average scores increase from pre-test to post-test in the population? We can write the alternative hypothesis as the mean for the post-test minus the mean for the pre-test is greater than zero. That's a way of saying that the mean for the post-test is greater than the mean for the pre-test. The null hypothesis can be written as the mean for the post-test minus the mean for the pre-test is less than or equal to zero. I like to specify the null and alternative hypothesis this way because it makes the order of subtraction apparent. The order of subtraction is, is very important when you're doing a one-tailed test, and you must make sure that R is doing the subtraction in the same order that you have specified under the null and alternative hypothesis. To conduct the analysis in R, we will use the t.test function. We will make x equal to the post-test score and y equal to the pre-test score. Remember that r is doing the subtraction such that it is x minus y. By specifying that x equals the post-test and y equals the pre-test, we are doing post-test minus the pre-test. And that is the order of subtraction that we specified under the null and alternative hypothesis. We're doing an upper tail test, and that means we need to specify that the alternative is greater. And more importantly, it's a dependent samples t-test, and that means we use the argument paired equals true. The paired equals true argument tells R that we are doing a dependent samples t-test, not an independent samples t-test. I'll run the analysis and the output appears in the console. The title of the output shows that it is indeed a paired samples t-test, or a dependent samples t-test, and that's what we wanted. The test statistic is 5.6269. It has 39 degrees of freedom and a p-value that is really small. The p-value is 8.537 e to the negative 7. That e to the negative 7 means move the decimal seven places to the left that would be a number that's smaller than 0 0.001, and more importantly, it would be smaller than our significance level of 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the post-test mean is greater than the pre-test mean in the population. According to the 95% confidence interval, we can be 95% confident that the post-test mean is about 2.01 points larger in the pretest mean. The sample estimates that are listed in the output, that shows the mean of the difference scores, and that's one way of verifying the order of subtraction, because it should be the post-test scores minus the pretest scores to give you the difference scores. And if you take the mean of those difference scores, you would get 2.8725. 